Hey guys, today I just want to show you guys go through the sign up process of how you can start creating your exchange account so you can begin trading cryptocurrencies. Now the exchange I'm going to show you guys to sign up with is Bitrex. Whether Bitrex aren't the only exchange that you can use to trade cryptocurrencies. In fact, I initially started with Polynex, whether I found that Polynex is quite slow and also that Bitrex has a lot more coins that you can trade. So yeah, to start is simple. All you do is go to the login button. And at the bottom, you'll see don't have an account, sign up. Now to sign up, you just click that, fill in the details, um, you'll get sent a confirmation email. And once you confirm your account, you'll have access to your, to your account. I've already done all that, so I'll just log in and we can get started. Now, once you've confirmed your account and you've logged in, your the main page will look like this. So the main page for Bitrix is, I mean, it's not the, the fanciest page, however, it gets all the information that it needs to on there. It has a quick overview of the market, looks at the the coins with the top volume, which is Ethereum today, biggest percent. Um, I don't get how that's top volume with Ethereum is, but yeah. And so you also get a search function for Bitcoin markets. Now, the thing about Bittrex is you can trade with Bitcoin, but you can also trade with Ethereum and with Tether. So they split the markets up. So if you want to trade Bitcoin to others, which majority of you will be, then you will be using this search function for Bitcoin markets. However, if you scroll down, you'll see the one for Ethereum and the one for Tether. Now, along the top, you have a few different tabs. Now you have the orders tab. And on the orders tab, what you'll have here is just a quick overview of all the purchases you've made and all the trades you've completed. So whenever you've bought, a cryptocurrency it will come here and when you've sold one it will also be there um, an open order will be an order that you've made which hasn't been fulfilled yet so say for example you've put in a buy order however there's not enough uh, sales being made to fulfill your buy then it will remain open until there is um, then there's a wallets tab now in the wallets tab you'll have um, all the different cryptocurrencies on the exchange and for whatever cryptocurrency that you own, it will show the available balance, um, how much is reserved if you have an open order, uh, the total you have, and the estimated Bitcoin value of it. And it also shows the percent change. So if you've bought a cryptocurrency and the price of it has increased or the percent's increased, then it will reflect this and show that on the right hand side in that box. Uh, if you scroll down, you'll have a few boxes here. So you have pending withdrawals. So if you've withdrawn, from your Bitrex wallet to another wallet and it's still pending and it's not been authorized yet then it will be showing in your pending withdrawals you also have pending deposits for the reverse reason if you deposit and it's still pending and then for the completed ones you have them along the bottom for withdrawal history and for deposit history now on your settings tab you have a quick summary of your account now initially your account will be have a withdrawal limit of one bitcoin now to increase your limit you have to enable two-factor authentication now this is essential you have to make sure you enable two-factor authentication as it just adds an extra layer of security without doing so if anybody just gets access to just your email and your password they immediately have access to your account and essentially all your money now make sure you enable this um i won't be doing <coughs> enabling it on this uh tutorial as it will take up too much time However, if you do need to find out how to do that, I will be making a separate tutorial to show you how to do so. Now, you also need to upload either a photo ID. It could be either your passport or your driving license. Um, you will need to do that if you want to increase your um, uh, withdrawal limit further. I believe if you do uh, two-factor authentication, it goes up to, I think it's 10 Bitcoin, I may be wrong. And then if you upload the ID, it goes up to 150 Bitcoin. So um, yeah, it's not uh, compulsory, but if you do want to, you then are able to withdraw more. So it, it's up to you. Um, you then have a help page, which just has a few 
you know, you can search that yourself. We have a few sites on the news, so it has a tab here for news, and then also has one for um, just to see the site status. Um, and that's it on the main page again. And and that's it. So that's the that's you all set up to start using Bitrex. Um, in my other videos, I'll go through how to buy um, cryptocurrencies, how to sell on the on the um, platform, and also how to do stop limits and so on. So um, if you've enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and I'll see you guys later.